click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello guys welcome to ikeda we have seen the introduction part of network functions after that we have also seen how resistors inductors and capacitors are transformed in s domain that is impedance transform and overall circuit transform so now it is time to see for any one port or two port network how those problems are solved for example if we are asked impedance point function or if we are asked to find a transfer function whether it is voltage transfer or current transfer how to find it so let us solve few numericals on that so here you can see this is problem number 1 on this topic called as driving point function and transfer function we have already seen this topic so in according to this that topic the problem is determine the driving point impedance that means z or we can call z of s for following network now there are only two terminals that means there is one pair of terminal so it is only one port network now why we saw how is the impedance transformation of inductor as well as capacitor how it is decided because it will be useful now now when you solve this circuit you have to transform all these parameters in their respective impedances so we have just seen that capacitor gets transformed to impedance 1 upon cs in a video on impedance transform on resistor inductor and capacitor we have seen it so we'll now take it directly now this resistor is unaffected so it will be r and this inductor will be l multiplied by s so now onwards always capacitor impedance of this capacitor will be 1 upon cs for inductor it will be l multiplied by s and we complete the circuit and here is nothing but going to be z of s which we have to calculate now impedance for this case is very easy because this r and ls are in series and their combination is in parallel with this capacitor so equivalent impedance or we will call it as z of s so we'll write directly z of s is going to be this 1 upon cs which is the impedance of capacitor in parallel with r plus ls 1 upon cs is in parallel with r plus ls now it is very easy job to find the parallel combination because now it is going to be 1 upon cs multiplied by r plus ls divided by 1 upon cs plus that is nothing but r1 r2 upon r1 plus r2 or z1 z2 upon z1 plus z2 so now it is going to be we'll cross multiply here and this cs will get cancelled so remaining terms will be divided by this whole we'll open the bracket lc into s square now we'll rearrange it you can take this you can keep this s coefficient of s as 1 if you want to do that you can take this l common so from numerator if i take l common in bracket it will be s plus r by l and here you can take lc common so that this coefficient of s square will become 1 so s square divided by lc here it is going to be we dividing it by lc 
So C and C will get cancelled. It will be R by L into S. And this L and L will get cancelled. So final answer should be. And now, suppose you are given the values of L, C and R as 1, 1 Henry, 1 Farad and 1 Ohm. Every value 1. This will become S plus 1. Here also there will be 1. Then S square plus S plus 1. And this is nothing but your Z of S. So you will get this complete term in terms of S. And by using some Laplace, inverse Laplace transform technique, you can also get it in time domain. So this is what is required answer and we have got it. Because it's a first problem, we will take it as a very simple problem. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please stay tuned to Ikeda. And please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.